Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Play Deads Inside. Now, some longer time viewers of the channel might remember a little game called Limbo, and this game is its spiritual successor, because, you know, it's essentially the same gameplay as I understand it, but it's also the same creative team. And I've been wanting to play it for a long time, so I'm finally going to get to. And just like with Limbo, I am playing it blind. So, I mean, let's, let's go over the parts that I've played so far. I've walked to here. I mean, I didn't need to see if it would record right. So right away, these graphics are looking really crisp, I gotta say. The, um, it actually looks less stylized than Limbo, though, but I, it's probably because they had more of a budget now. <laughs> it just looks really nice. Yeah, it's a game where you go, where you go to the right, and don't die. I'm assuming. I don't know if there's much else to it. There's probably light puzzles. I've stayed away from reviews, I've stayed away from, from trailers, so I just don't, I don't know. I just trust that I would like it based on who made it and what type of game I knew it was. Oh! <laughs> well, looks like I didn't stop. Do I trust this guy? Doesn't seem to matter whether I trust him, he's out of here. And it's not like I can go into the foreground. Yeah, no, I'm just... I Visually, I'm loving this right now. Just like I did with Limbo. Uh, my instincts say not to trust who these guys are. Now, are these like children with little masks, it looks like? Oh... <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um They got me in the sleeper hold. Alright, so yeah, not not trusting. It looks like I was not patient enough there. So we will wait. I think they're just like, did you hear something? Alright, yeah. I was not patient enough. Though I was exactly as trusting as I should have been. Oh, it's a refrigerator. I was like, look at the world's largest suitcase. Looks like that's that truck that set off before. Ah, I can grab it. That probably made some noise. Looks like you can sometimes go into the foreground a little bit too. That also wasn't the case with Limbo. Like, that was completely 2D perspective. Hopefully that doge doesn't hear me. And it is pretty far off. My doge would have at least... Also, I'm incapable of saying dog anymore. It has to be doge. You gotta put that E on there. For that extra dose of internet charm. Even while in real life. Hmm. Jump, jump. No. Climb. No. By the way, the controls do appear to be, um... Uh, <laughs> jump and move, and then you can grab things. Can th is this grabbable? It is. Oh my god. Oh. I wanted to do some surfing action. Alright. <laughs> Don't allow me to have any fun in this possibly bleak world. The fun is about survival. Not about surfing down on blocks, safes. I don't know what that was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no! I've been made! No! <laughs> Suck it, dog! You're screwed by your own sensibility to not make that jump. 
Yeah. Well, I actually had anxiety there. I didn't know. <laughs> Thing got pretty close to me. Little patches of light back there, but that's not where I dwell. I dwell in the dark. I stick to the shadows. Except for my unfortunately brightly colored shirt. Not the best camo. Uh oh. Uh. Oh no, I should have gone back. There's a little cave. Oh, they have guns! Oh, they have tranquilizer guns. That's interesting. So in both instances, except for when a dog came after me, and to be fair, I don't know how that would have gone because I got away from it on the first time. It looks like they're using non-lethal means against me. So am I escaping from something? Aha! That would seem to make sense. Alright, I don't know if they're going to do a, a pass back. It doesn't look like it. I'm on the inside. Trying to get to the outside. I don't like that that car's there. Uh, I'm gonna make a break for it. Uh oh. No. Damn it. How was I supposed to know that I was gonna trip on that. 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 what was it? The stick? This time I shall leap over the stick! Ha! Now you trip on the stick! There. Oh. Okay, so if he's gonna shoot me, and the other guy's behind me, what are my choices? Maybe climb up on that thing that I was passing? Or is this just a point of not return? Was the, was the point to not get caught? That I don't know. Oh. Alright. Oh, no, there's another stick! They were actually really smart, these guys, for putting in child speed bumps everywhere, where there's just sticks that are just child height that caused me to trip, and then they could capture me. Height. Okay, so that's the first turtle. Then we wait. But not for too long! And then over the child turtle. Alright, looking out for deadly child hurdles. Ha! Uh-oh. <laughs> Shouldn't celebrate that quickly. Child hurdle. Dogs are coming. Hua! Alright, and this is the part where Cross Knights would have died <laughs> due to his lack of ability to swim well. Ah! Well, alright, well that one was a kill shot. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna get to me in time. That was... that was... that was how I drowned. Oh wait. Ha! Fools! Don't know when it's safe. Bloop boop! Looked like he was starting to run out of oxygen. We can just assume that. Oh, don't just go away. What, do I have secret government documents or something? Just let me go, dude. I don't like being on the open road. Alright. Well, it's raining. Maybe it'll muss up my shirt so it's darker. It certainly looks darker, but I think that's mainly just due to the lack of light. Oh, okay. I'm graceful. Into the cornfield! Sans corn. I 
I simultaneously feel safer and more afraid. Safer from people, less safer from, say, I don't know, giant spiders. Perhaps angry pelicans. We safe? We're never safe. This is a world where the light is frightening and the dark is a safe haven. Uh, are you bodies? No, you're just assorted things. You start to see things in the light where you're afraid. Dark is much better. Yeah, let's see that upper body strength. Alright. Still can't go up and down. Nice roll! You are a parkour master. No. Oh, cool! I like the intuitive controls. Well, what is this? What is all this? Are these little baby chicks? That's adorable. Are they following me? Huh. Yo, come on, chickens. Will they follow me in here? They are. I, I must need them for something. I just I just had the urge to go the other direction, but I didn't know that uh was actually going to do anything yet. All right, effect unknown. All right, so that's running. Let's try to press this again. Oh. I mean, something is definitely happening. <laughs> I don't know what, though. It looks like what I need to do is cause that stream of water to knock that box off. And now looking from where that box is, it might have been working and I just didn't see it move. It's not stream- it's not water, it's like air? No, I don't think it's doing anything. I can't interact with this anymore. Hmm. Hey, box. Hey, box. Why don't you come down and play with me? I've got chickadees. And I'm on the run. You could be my safe haven box. What if I go up here? Again, is there something up here? In the rain? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Ah! What? So... There's gotta be a long section where I don't talk there. I'm still a little bit confused. It, I noticed that, like, sometimes when I pulled that switch, like, it looked like the little chicks were, like, firing out of it. But, um... Where... At some point, these chicks are, like, somehow interacting with us. I'm still not seeing it. Like, are they going in there? Because I'm not seeing them go in there. I'm not seeing my number decrease or anything. But that time, a whole bunch of chicks, like, flew out. And now it's not, I don't know. I'm confused, but the puzzle is solved. Could I solve it again? I don't know. It's always the worst. You didn't figure it out. Here. I want to keep this first one short just to um, give people a taste of the game in case they want to pick it up. Well, should I have done it 
when the Steam Summer Sale was a little bit more on, yeah, and then it was on sale, but still. <laughs> Alright. Go on, future Assassin's Creed member. Craw! Not quite as graceful, but uh, usually the Assassin's Creed guy isn't jumping into a box of pigs. There's always hay about. Did I move the pig? Nope. Just the cart. Ah! <laughs> Don't crush me! What's all this? That doesn't look like... Well, what are those... There's tentacles under this farm. I'm back in the light. Based on the sky, it looks like it might be close to morning. Also, it's getting harder to move. This kid is my hero. Look how agile he is. I couldn't have pulled that off when I was a kid. And again, I would have died at the swimming point. <laughs> if I had gotten past all the other things, I would have just freaked out and drowned. Okay! Oh. Ha! Oh. <laughs> you ended up being a helper pig. Yeah! Turo! Turo! Alright, he's tired now. Also... Those, his tail looks like those things I saw on the ground. So were those buried pigs? Because weird. What is that? Some type of bird? I don't, is that a person huddled over? Am I seeing things? Am I interpreting them wrong? Oh my. Um, that was the thing I saw on the ground that I just pulled off of him. So, and I don't think it was just pigtails. Yeah, it's some type of parasite, just like in the first game. What if this takes place in the same universe? I don't know. Okay. Um. I mean, that's not what I expected to happen, I gotta say. Oh. I'm controlling these people. Okay. Pull, push. Pull, push. Pull, push. Pull, push. All right, that's not working. I think I'm going to need the others. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Wait, lift this way. Oh, they can all lift it, though. Lift! Alright, men. This is weird for me as well. <laughs> Get away. Get away, it's not safe there. Alright, as you were. Um, this is all very weird. I said that was going to be my final puzzle, but let me just go a little bit more forward. The first Limbo had such a good jumping off point, because I had like the, it, the demo had a cliffhanger built into it. Also, if you're interested in me seeing Limbo, the game that I keep on referring to repeatedly, because this... They could have just used Limbo graphics and called this Limbo's 2, as far as I'm concerned. Um... Go check it out. 
And I think we're good here. I think this is where I'm going to stop. I will be doing the whole game. I have not seen a damn thing. But, um... Yeah. I'll see you in the next episode. If you want more, check out the original Limbo. And I'll see you next time. Thank you, as always, for my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash crossnights. And, yeah, I'm excited to play this. I, I bought this at the beginning of the summer sale. Now the summer sale's, like, almost over. And I didn't play it, but I'm glad I waited. I need it, I need it right now. I need some uh, nice, you know, child endangerment to get me through <laughs> where I'm the child. Uh, it reminds me of my youth, running away from kids with masks that were driving trucks. Hmm. I don't miss those days. See ya!